six hours and counting to the drawing of six numbers that could be worth more than half a billion dollars. We wake up and this, how about that? Let's okay. go. Now at five, the growing lines and the growing excitement, all thanks to Powerball. That Powerball jackpot has grown now to $550 million. How much? And that's not all. <laughs> it could actually go up again before tonight's big drawing. We are now in the peak Powerball ticket buying time. <laughs> and with so much money at stake, everyone is hoping tonight is their lucky night. Gail Huff is live in Kensington where everyone has Powerball fever. Gail. This Liberty Martin Kensington has been packed all day. People coming in to buy those tickets and lottery officials say five to seven tonight is the time we expect most people to be visiting to get those tickets in hopes of winning that big jackpot. I have a large family. I would pass some out. I would give some to charity. I will give a lot away. Is that thank right? you. Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> it seems people are in the holiday giving spirit. Or is it the record size of this jackpot? After all, how does anyone spend $550 million? I'd buy a guitar. A guitar? Yes, several. People started lining up for Powerball tickets early. <laughs> well, you're playing big here, two tickets. <laughs> I know. I got to go to Virginia. I live in Virginia, so I got to get my tickets also. I always get quick picks, but this time I'm going to get numbers instead and pick my own. Oh, so you think you have a better shot that way? I hope so. We caught lots of people sneaking out of work to buy for themselves and co-workers. Quick pick. I said I wasn't coming if I had to pick the numbers, so it's too much work. Now, how did you get the designated runner job? Well, I was going. I'm like, oh, yeah, give me some, too. <laughs> Joe Facconi is working for his wife today. She just said, do a quick pick. And I told her that it's more likely that a shark will jump through that door now and eat me than we will win. But she wants to play all the same. There's no shortage of risk takers. Do you play all the time? Or? No, actually, I don't. But since the jackpot is so huge, hey, got to play to win, you know? When it's that high, you got to really go for it. That's right, you gotta go for it. You know, a lot of people are going in today with one dollar hoping to buy a ticket, not aware that the price has gone up to two dollars. So if you're planning on going out and buying a lottery ticket, make sure you bring at least two dollars with you. Reporting live, I'm Gail Hop, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Gail. Wouldn't it be great if we did see a shark jump through a window in some story? <laughs> I'd rather point? see the winning ticket. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of that, you can buy these Powerball tickets in 42 states, D.C. and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And with so many people buying tickets now, there is a 60% chance that at least one person is going to hit tonight's jackpot. But we wonder, where does all the money that these people spend on these lottery tickets actually go? And how much does the winning state make off of that in taxes? Our Jeff Goldberg will break it all down for us coming up here at 530.